Welcome back everyone to episode 12 of Let's Play Atlantic Fleet Battle the Atlantic as Germany. So it looks like we're going to have some mop-up duty, finishing off the vampire and the convoy she's escorting. We even have the initiative just to make everything that much worse for them. So we just go full speed ahead. I don't think... There's probably a reason for us to at least turn to get our full broadside off. We do have to worry about um, torpedoes from the destroyer, but other than that... We're in good shape. I don't think this is going to be um, a particularly difficult engagement. So to start off our first one, we fire at 15.6. Let's make that 15.8 um, because we don't have any other grounds for choosing something. And looks like we overshot by quite a lot. Similarly, we are going to turn hard to starboard with our light cruiser, the Colm. She'll just move full speed, we'll get off a broadside on the destroyer, and let's see, 13.7 uh, is what they recommend, 13.7, which means this will probably happen short because I always overestimate, and the one time I don't, it'll probably land short, it's Murphy's Law, yep, one time I should have overestimated, that's just exactly how these things go. All right, now with my destroyer, uh, okay, yeah, well, let's just do the same thing. Go flank speed, because we want her to close distance a little bit faster. Okay, um, 17.3, we'll trust that. Oh, well, one very close to a hit. What will she do? Yep, she's using her guns, that's good. Against our destroyer, smart, that's what I would do as well. Don't really have a chance of sinking the other ones. And it doesn't really matter what the merchant ships do because they will all sink as soon as we take out the destroyer. Okay, so our last one was huge overshoot. They want us to do 11.5, I think that's too gross of an adjustment. Probably something like uh, 13, let's go 12.9. Looks good. Oh, wow. A little bit short. Okay, same thing with you, 15 degrees. Get that broadside off. And you were short, so let's elevate you. Probably we move forward a little bit, so let's go to 13 point. Let's go to 14 flat. Okay, whatever, 14.1 because it won't let me get to 14. <laughs> and it turned out to be a blessing that that happened. Good, so we've already done some damage to them. Did that take out any of their turrets? No, but, you know, we're starting to damage them, that's good. Let's turn away with the destroyer because it's the only one who might take damage. So let's get her to kind of flee almost. We are still able to get off a full broadside, that's nice. And it looks like whatever value we used last time is what we should use this time, 17.3. So we were a little short, but now we've moved, they've moved. I think we can be convinced to go to 17.5 though. And looks good. Two hits, and that, I think I counted that early one as a hit, it was. See how they do. Oh, don't hit me. Good. I don't want to send any of these ships back for repair, so my goal is uh, no damage. Seems pretty feasible. Very doable. Okay, so last time we fired at 12.9, which looks like what we should fire at again. We're actually a little bit closer, so let's go to 12.8. Okay, 12.7. Very good. Wow. Superb. Perfect shot. And they're just sinking, so that's it for us. I didn't even check, though. Let me move and check real fast. Did we have access to any air? No. Okay. So let's just go ahead and mop up the rest. Well, a tidy little episode. That's nice. Okay, so let's get our submarine back out. We'll have to buy another submarine as well. 
another type 9 purchase so we now we can just wait for August 1940 and we can buy um, both of these with the renown we've already accrued and I would love to get these guys I mean who wouldn't like to be controlling the Bismarck 15 inch shells instead of all the 11 inch ones that were from the Naval Restriction Treaty Treaty of Versailles or no, it, I mean the Treaty of Versailles facilitated the Naval Naval Disarmament but I don't remember what the Naval Disarmament was it the uh, I should know it. It, it. The United it wasn't it named something after the United States. Well, somebody in the comments will correct me. I'm sure. Thank you in advance. <laughs> I'll look it up after this episode anyway, because those kind of things bother me. Let's go ahead and send our heavy cruiser um, task force, even though it's only two ships right now, back out into friendly waters, and let's get these guys to be repaired. Good. Even though this guy just came out, it'll still take him one turn to repair. I don't fully understand why, but that's fine. Okay, good. So now we're up against the Bedouin, and uh, this is probably going to be an easy victory for us. Our heavy cruiser will just target the destroyer, and our destroyer will probably use air power. Okay, they are just directly... I can't see them. Oh, there they are. Okay, good. So we'll just move as we are, maybe even five degrees away. No reason to get close. Just make sure we have air power. We do, but they are torpedoes. I hate torpedoes. This will be good practice for us though. Okay, so 13.2 is their estimate. We'll go ahead and believe it for the time being. And shells away. Already a good start. So I think that was two solid hits. And we actually damaged their, their uh, anti-aircraft. Even better. Flank speed, angle a bit away as well, because you're the one who could actually be hurt. And let's get those aircraft in. So this is tricky. They're moving 27 knots, which means we have to lead them by quite a bit. Uh, let's see here. Hmm. That's probably not enough. Okay, let's try this. Uh, a little bit more, actually. Let's try this. We wait as long as we can before we launch this torpedo. I think that was good. So that hopefully will arrive there next turn. And our torpedo plane torpedo gets out, not that it matters. And they're turning hard to avoid us, that's good. They are actually firing at, well, incredible. Incredible accuracy. Now we're gonna have to send, oh, they even started a fire. And look at that, they're actually turning to avoid us. So this is perfect though. On the next turn we send a torpedo from the other side. Hopefully just pin them in. I think we move just exactly how we are. How did they, that's amazing that they actually got us. I mean, on fire. I was not expecting them to do any real damage. Okay, so last turn we did 13.3 and it was a little bit overshot. Let's cut this down. We moved away a little bit, so let's cut this down to 12. Let's just do 12. And that's a bit short. And once again, our destroyer will just make use of our torpedo planes just to give us a chance to use them. Yeah, so we might actually want to do something like this. Which, if they keep turning away, we'll hit them. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, actually, we want to make sure that if they turn, they get hit for sure. So like so, I think. Yeah, let's launch that. Hey, wait as long as you can, wait as long as you can. Torpedo. 
they do not have any good options, do they? <laughs> yeah, I think this is good. It looks like that one will hit. And maybe even the other one, I didn't see. Okay, torpedoes in the water. Let's see how those do. Two hits. Good. Very good. So we did something good with our torpedoes for once. Two quick engagements, although the Hipper, Admiral Hipper, will have to go back. Medium damage, just from like two shells. It's incredible. Now it says light, though. Okay, repair you and you, why not? Six more turns, oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, brother. Maybe we should just bring our surface fleet up. Kind of like that idea because we're just not getting any action over here. Although I, I would have expected some, but none. So let's move our submarines back in, just to patrol those friendly waters. Okay, one. we'll just leave them there. These are both okay, so we'll move them back out. They'll probably be interrupted next turn, but that's fine. Get these guys, move them up here. Let's get these submarines to move patrol there just for a turn. Okay, very good. Now we do the same thing. These guys up here, a submarine shift. Okay, and get these guys out. I guess we'll patrol friendly waters. How's the, I didn't just take a look at the weather there. It's snowing, that's probably not very good for aircraft. Yeah, now we are fighting the war spite. Well, I would have loved for our battleships to be there, but that's okay, this is even better, because I think Honestly, submarines have a better chance of sinking a battleship unharmed than battleships do. Alright, they are moving left to right for the U-41. So this one's going to be in charge of sinking the Basilisk, which means we need to turn her hard and flank. Yes, begin targeting the Basilisk, but don't actually fire yet. And you are going to go flank speed 15, 20 degrees, that's fine. And yes, your target is going to be the War Spite. Again, our priority is definitely going to be the Destroyer, because that's the only one of these, wow, they are really cooking. They are really moving. I'd say let's even move 20 degrees flank. Keep getting that targeting solution on the Basilisk, though. We need to let them move a little bit closer. Okay, you need to move actually probably 20 degrees to port, flank speed. Go ahead. They're turning slightly, slightly in the wrong direction, I might add. Okay, five degrees, oops, that's 10. Flank speed, done. Yeah, flank speed, done. Okay, well, we have a pretty good idea of what they're doing. They're just going to turn away. We're going to launch torpedoes with the U-42. Our only hope is just to hit with one or two of them. We're also going to launch with the um, U-41, but she absolutely has to sink the Basilisk. We could wait one more turn. I think we'll launch torpedoes with the U-42, but not the U-41. Okay, they recommend 6.2. Probably that's the furthest ahead that we would, we would need to launch. So let's do this, and then probably 7. Okay, 6.8, 7.6, and a point, I messed up somewhere, 4, I don't remember, but that looks good enough, so let's launch. Give those one turn to go, I mean they will go, so then we have to absolutely have to launch torpedoes no matter what on the next turn. That was reasonable. That might actually be for uh, maybe two hits at least. 
It might be none. I mean, I don't know how fast they're moving. I hope they're moving fast enough. Okay, so flank speed, just move exactly how you're moving. And you now have to launch torpedoes as well. They say 351. I agree. Okay. Absolutely have to sink this ship. Those will arrive next turn as well. Okay, well. Flank move, let's hope this works. Alright, that's good. That's at least two torpedoes. And these are all gonna hit. So the Basilisk is sinking, and... One, two. Two hits. Good. That's two hits. We can turn around and fire off some more from the stern. But the good news is we already have two decent hits on yet another... Uh, oh. God, actually, these torpedoes are actually headed at us. <laughs> I don't know if friendly fire is a thing, but I don't want to find out. So let's go flank speed and move away. Okay, now start targeting the war spite. Oops. And you... Go 15 degrees. We have to see how they react. We don't know how they're going to react to this yet. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Too bad those torpedoes weren't there a moment ago. <laughs> Alright, so let's... Actually, those torpedoes will disappear anyways before they hit us. They'll, they don't have enough range. So we'll keep moving like so, and we'll just keep moving in this direction. Hopefully get one last shot on the war spite from this guy. Obviously, um, the U-42 is going to be in a better position, because it looks like the war spite's headed this way. There she goes, turning in. It's fantastic. So this might... I think this is going to be the turn that we reload. We get a torpedo reloaded, and we will fire immediately. Okay. So they're only going 18 knots. That's the good news. They haven't been able to speed up. It recommends 358. We think they're going to keep turning, so we're going to do something like this. Um, yeah, let's do this. Okay, let's... Hedge our bets a little bit more. You know, if we even get one more torpedo in, it could it could be enough to sink her. Now you are gonna keep moving as you are and hopefully let her curve into you more. As she's doing. Very good. And this torpedo is right on target. Stop, stop, stop. Perfect. Okay, good. So now you keep closing as is. And you, you're doing a very good job yourself. Yep, that's going to be another hit. That's to the bottom, too. That's like, that would crack the keel. Because they are um, they were elevated on that side, so they would hit... Um, almost at the very bottom of the keel, which is just, that's such a vulnerable point. There's so much pressure on the ship there. It would likely snap the ship. All right, so let's turn and line up. Uh, actually, we're probably about to reload another torpedo, so let's just go 10 degrees flank speed and get another torpedo loaded pretty soon. You, on the other hand, yeah, just keep moving. Torpedo reloaded, that's fine. Just moving away, okay. Now we have to launch with um, the U-42. So this is probably a great time for us actually to turn away. Let's move like this. We just got a torpedo as well, so let's fire that one. They're going 16, 327 is the recommendation. They're going to turn in more though, so let's do 325. That's fine. Fire. And we'll turn around so we can get our stern torpedoes fired. Now you actually have to fire this turn because she's actually starting to move away. And we only have two torpedoes. That's a bummer. 357. No. She's going to keep turning, I think, so... Like this, and like this. 
My hope is, do I'm not trying to get as many torpedoes hit as possible. I'm just trying to land some torpedoes. Because the more I land at this point, the slower she should go, and the more time I have to actually sink her. And, oh my gosh, that would have been perfect, but no, not quite. All right, so I guess we keep doing that thing we wanted to do. <laughs> Turning around, getting the stern torpedoes. Those two are really, look, they would look really good. So let's see her movement. Yeah, that's gonna be three hits. And that should do it. There it goes, the war spike down. So without taking any damage ourselves, just at the cost of a little bit of ammunition, just torpedoes, we sank both the battleship and the destroyer escort. And that's really better than our um, surface fleet could have done. And now you see why I think submarines are probably a bit overpowered in this game. Okay, how are how are we doing here? We still have plenty of torpedoes, so we're we're fine. Just get all these guys, move them into Iceland, and shift everyone back up. Actually, we'll shift you guys in here. How long? Ah, still three more months before the Admiral Hipper comes out. I'm a little nervous about leaving these guys here, so let's just move them back in. And everything else is good, so let's... Actually, this is a perfect place to call this video to a close. Um, so, I guess that's everything we wanted to do on this turn. I'm not sure if it'll save our movements, but it should at least save the results from the battle. I mean, I hope to God that the war spite is still sunk. I get a little nervous, that's why I hit the next turn. Okay, should we do it? Oh, good, we did it. Okay, great. And it looks like they're at four bars out of 20 now, so we're making really good progress, considering the war's only been on for about four months, and we're, you know, about 20% of the way to victory. Things keep going as they are, that means that probably by the end of 1940 we'll be very close to a victory. So thanks for watching this episode and uh, stay tuned for some more German domination of Battle of the Atlantic. Until then, take care.